All right, moving on. We got to get to these episode reviews. We've got six, seven, and eight that we're gonna go through yes. today. Um, <laughs> first one, episode six, the best gourmet report, Prorimon's gourmet app. <laughs> I think it was application. It is application. He rolled, <laughs> rolled on the R there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I can't even do that either. I can't roll my R's. Roll your R's. Yeah. So R- mine, are, mine are like weird. You, when I try to roll an R, it's just But stupid. when you don't try, you can actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we open up this episode to, um, what is it, Gachman and Gachman and Haru, Haru checking out the TV. Yeah. The TV. And there's a uh, there's a news station on, and they have a a news segment, and it's a uh, it's starring Karen Aries Gourmet Report. Yeah. And it's where Karen Aries is supposed to eat, just to eat eat food from some classy five star restaurant, and then she has to describe it in How detail. How hard mm-hmm. can that be? And then yeah. she rates it. Yeah. Rating food doesn't sound too difficult. I do it all the time. Unless you have to... I don't rate food. Yes, you do. No. I mean, I I'll take I, pictures of it, post it all are over you a Facebook. Foodie? Uh, not uh, right now. Well, no. Right. <laughs> um, the only thing with this is like... It's a good thing she's not picky. Yeah. Because... What if you got some nasty, like, you, you know... I puke you this in your eat, plate. Is. Well, nasty to me, but what if it was like... Um, uh, what is... Uh, what's the... Oh my gosh, I'm drawing like a huge blank. Wow. What's the fish Oops. eggs? Um, caviar? Caviar. <laughs> yeah. So what if you had to like eat caviar? Ugh. Right? That's nasty. You don't even want to... Uh, I couldn't review that's food. Like posh food. Yeah. <laughs> too, too picky. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we've already discussed this with your vegetable yeah. habits. Yep. You don't like veggies? Nope. Gross. I like corn. We got okay. corn now. <laughs> so. Sorry for it all. All right, so moving right along. We uh, open up, Haru and Gachman are watching this uh, newscast, and their uh, newest segment is about this uh, gourmet report that uh, Ari is supposed to be doing. Um, she bombs. We, we, well, before that, we pop up to her and uh, uh, Dogamon, and she's a little nervous about this. Mm-hmm. I think this is the most nervous we've ever seen her. Even though she's got a really outgoing personality, which is really interesting. Yeah. Like, to the fact that she'll stand up on a chair and tell everyone in the world that she's going <laughs> to give them an explosive <laughs> punch right to the, the heart. heart. Yeah. I don't know why take this is such off. a problem. She does take her shoes off when she does that, though. Yeah. Super polite. polite. Super nice. So she goes to do it, right? And she's, like, fumbling with the fork and they're like live and it's just really awkward yeah she can't um she's not really describing it well the 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 producers in her ear saying like you know what's what's the texture like she turns into me (laughs) yeah anytime you put a camera on merle or something it's uh not not a pretty sight but she i like she describes the texture as being like the sand pit you play in in kindergarten which doesn't probably sound not. appetizing no. at all. No. Yeah. Considering what some of those kids probably did in there. Yeah, no. Plus, like, how does she know what it, like... What a sample. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so they just cut it. Yeah. They just They're cut like, the, all right, that's all we have for yeah. today because she's being super awkward and doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Which stinks because... I want them to do well. Yeah, you know, you always, you always want they her to succeed. They start out at rock bottom, like but she's not at rock bottom. bottom. She's a, she's an, an idol, you know. <laughs> true, true enough. But she's four hundred and seventy. I just wonder why. Why this though? She's the yeah, you know she's very outgoing, game, you know, um, at, at idol or whatever, and then they want her to do a gourmet report. Yeah. Oh. It's just one of those silly things that they have idols do occasionally to boost their popularity. Yeah. yeah. So then we... It's like, ooh, I can do that. We shoot to her outdoors talking talking to... Uh, it is... She's talking to Dokemon. Dokemon, yeah, yeah, in his like chip form. Yeah. So I don't know if we brought this up in the first couple episodes or whatever, but can people see the chip um, floating in the air? I was always thinking of that, you but know? no, I think it's one of those things of like... If you don't have an Apple drive, 
you can't, can't see, see it. Like but, at all, not even the chip. Yeah, I think the only way people can see them is if they're aptly arised. Okay. Yeah. Which is pretty awkward then because if somebody's walking by, it and looks you're like you're talking, talking to yourself. To well, <laughs> okay, they obviously aren't going to notice that if they looking. don't notice a kid walking down the street, pull out a device, and then all of a sudden disappear. Just, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. So. Plus, like, with, you know, with nowadays with like Bluetooth, you could just be like, I'm just talking on the phone. That's you what know? I've always like, wondered, you know? I'm not with, talking to with any kind of fantasy or something, whenever they're going into doing telepathic stuff or something, right. they should always wear one of those just mm-hmm. so people don't. Covers it up, right? Yeah. Easily. Yeah, like, you know? I was like, I'm on the phone. So yeah. <laughs> she's, she's sitting outside uh, talking to him, um, really all worried and He's stuff. trying to pep her up, though, because that's oh, yeah. that's do- Dokomon, you he know? He worships the girl. Yeah. She walks yeah. off. Yeah. Her, her manager comes out, and well, she's saying, like, you know, I just need to practice. I need to study, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the manager comes out and, and is like, yeah, you need to... <laughs> you need to get your shit together, you need to get, bro. Yeah. And so uh, the manager suggests trying the Por- 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 Pororimon's Gourmet app. That. Okay, this is something, though. Right. They're standing at a restaurant, right? Like mm-hmm. a coming soon restaurant, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I watched this episode, but is it not Pororimon's restaurant that's coming soon? I don't believe so. Is it not? No, I thought no. that's what it said on the like little thing. Like you know, this he was a he was a a gourmet reviewer, right? Right. Yeah. And now he's coming out with a restaurant. Is oh, that not? Is that not no, what I? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it because maybe I maybe it was one. formerly reviewed by Perori Mon. Maybe. So I don't know. I just kept thinking, like. If that's the case, that's really weird for an app to. Uh, <laughs> is he gonna run this a, restaurant? Yeah. But maybe I was maybe I'm mistaken. I need to see. But I could have sworn they they looked at the they looked at the window of a like mm-hmm. coming soon thing that says yeah. something about Perorimon. I I just think it's one of those things. We uh, I work at a comic book store and we actually had a really cool YouTube uh, mm-hmm. group come by called um, uh, Comic Trips. Yeah. And after they came and checked out our our store and everything and did their little session and everything, they put a a sticker on one of our windows showing that they came and I, I figured it was just something like that, like, Maybe. oh, reviewed by Perori sure. type yeah, thing. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, so um let's see, we go into God, it's been forever since I watched the episode. What do you got on your notes? <laughs> <laughs> um they uh after they she finds out about Perorimon's gourmet app, they meet up with uh Haru and Gachman in the mm. library. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's whenever she's checking things out and and looking around. And I think that's when Haru gets an idea. Either Haru or, or Gachman. I think it was Haru. And uh, they do a search on him and find out that he's an Atmon. Oh, he's an Atmon. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, so I think later, isn't it later? Aries. At yeah. Her so place. she. Yeah. She's like in her bed and she's talking about you know well, I'll just. Um, study all of his mm-hmm. reviews yep. and you research know, you, yeah stuff. research it and he comes on out you know as yeah. you know as his it's weird he looks know, really dumpy he is yeah he is a very weird looking he's got this huge mouth with all these teeth and this giant little tongue little uh, chunky fella and he's um, got a tiny cowboy hat on he does <laughs> <laughs> uh so he comes out and he's he basically makes her a deal where like if you'll aptly arise me, mm-hmm. I'll I'll teach you how to review um, food, you know. And so she goes, she does it. She goes ahead and she she's like, all right, sure, you know. Um, and and something about it was kind of funny um, because as soon as he pops up, makes this deal with her, she aptly arises him, and Dokumon's oh, like, poor Dokumon, like really, you just. Like because you know how long it took me yeah, forever to exactly. be aptly arised. Yeah, because she's the she's the only one that took forever. Never did she never yeah. aptly arised her. She had him in like sixteen Why did different he mm-hmm. in apartments. a bag inside of a bag. Yeah, yes. inside of a bag. In a container, in a container, in another container. Yeah, he's too cute, man. So after the jealousy, we get to uh, the next session where he wants Ari oh. or Ari Ari to mm-hmm. make takoyaki for mm-hmm. him because he had decided that whenever he finally became aptly arised that was the first thing that he wanted to right. eat right 
And something that I noted, which they'll answer like actually pretty soon, is you know how does he how does <laughs> he review food if he doesn't actually eat it, it? You know. Yeah, it was a it was a question for to me. To this as well. episode's credit, they do actually answer. They that do answer question. that, but so she makes him takoyaki, right? Yeah, and it looks is, amazing, right? Like she's a five star <laughs> chef. Actually, it looks Jerry, it does not look amazing. Half oh no, star. no, it's actually burnt some. It's it's there's like tentacles awesome. sticking Octopus out of one sticking side. Out everywhere. It looks awful, um, and he doesn't even eat it. Yeah, he just straight up, he looks at you know, it, like, no. says nope. What's he say? He oh, said, uh, "All he can see happening <laughs> is uh, overwhelming regret if he <laughs> eats this thing," and so. Uh, that's whenever he, we find out that he's never tasted food before. Right. He basically just eats the data of yeah. people reviewing people like food. reviewing apps, just mm-hmm. or reviewing food, talking about it. He'll just eat that review. The and data. that's how he gets the flavor to and perfection. He's, and he's done it for so long that he can now hit it at like I think it said like nine nine point nine 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 nine. You know, like <laughs> basically he can get it, you know to to just about perfect. Right there. And uh, but he ends up leaving, leaving. and Dokumon um, just starts shoving it into his oh, guy. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Dokumon just shoveling it in, talking about how great it and is. He never and says everything. anything like it's bad, though. I wonder if it was bad to him. I don't, if he was just do, I mean, I don't know. I know he was doing it to make her feel better. Yeah, but do you think he actually liked it? Because he sure wasn't making any sort of face. excuse me faces to like, you know. I think he actually liked it. Dokumon. That's always that's always the interesting, uh, you know. Weird thing. They they've done that in another anime that I've watched. Really, and I can't remember what it was. But she she starts to uh, try it, I think, and she's like, no. Nope. She's like, oh wow, this really <laughs> is awful. It was a uh, it was Gurren Logan, if you've ever seen that. It's a, seen it's that a one. mech yeah, anime, yeah, and uh, there's this girl that just wants to be helpful on the ship, and all these. It's a weird thing because all these guys have crushes on her, but she's like really young. And so she decides, like, oh, well, I'll, I'll cook, you know, for everybody. So she's all cooking up a storm, and everybody's super excited. Like, they skipped breakfast <laughs> yeah, just so they could so can... feast on this. Right. And then it comes out, and it's awful. Oh. But then the main character, like, he finally comes out of his room, and uh, he goes to eat, and he freaking loves it. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, it was just kind of one of those funny little things. So she uh, decides <clears throat> she needs to just start studying again. You know, if he doesn't want to help her, she'll at least still use his reviews. Yeah, go you know, go and, through and his reviews and still wrong. try to pick up. Right. So she starts flipping through, and all the reviews that she tries to like click on are gone. Delete, delete, delete. Go away, go away, vanish. They just start, you know, just disappearing. start disappearing. I'm and sure so, it's it's just a coincidence, though. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like it's just Absolutely. a thing that'll just happen. Well, see, I th- I think everybody's thinking is um, Prorimon is being a. Being a, a douche, you know, yeah. like I'm not gonna Just let her. D-bag. Yeah, so he's taking all of his uh, reviews off. Uh, reviews off, right? So we see though that it's not just gourmet reviews that's getting deleted. It's people's it's, precious memories. Right. <laughs> memories. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Afro man. <laughs> uh, memories, photos, contacts, bank stuff. You know, yeah, like um, serious, just showing up like you have no money problems. anymore in the bank. Yeah. That's a problem. That is a problem. My 401k so, disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> what? So they get together, you know, the Apple drivers get together. At this point, it's just Haru and Gatchmon. Uh, Gatchmon and then Aerie and Dokamon. And uh, they open up an they AR, open AR field. field. They go in there. And there's a huge dump. It's just a, it's a dump. It's, it's a, a massive, massive, massive dump. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of garbage. Um, garbage. And out of the garbage comes Gomimon. Gomimon looks like a trash can. Recycling yes. And his head is basically poop. It is, yep. Yeah. And it's the it's the recycling bin app. Yep. And um, it turns out he's the one stealing all the data. Yeah, Purimon's trying to get his reviews back. Right. So he's there, like, trying to get his stuff back. Now, to, to note on Goemon, there's this uh, strange black aura coming off of him. So, you know, we already know automatically that he's got the L virus. Right. So Loser virus. they decide, <laughs> yeah, they decide, obviously, we need to take him out. Yeah, right? and Purimon's like... Oh yeah, I'm no, with we're, you. we're Let's doing do this. this. Yeah, yeah. So I get my reviews back. So this was great. This this whole fight scene was funny because it's not really a fight scene. Yeah. You know, um, more of a because, destruction of. So Gatchmon and Haru are Gomamon. like, you know, 
all right, let's search for a way to take him out, right? And in the middle of them searching... So, bam, <laughs> uh, Aerie brings out the Apple Drive. She links up Porimon and Dokomon. But it ends up being a Gatai. Bam. And so they become instead of a Sukomon, yeah. the Super Atmon. And, uh, He's essentially a giant blue... I love the way they do this. ...ape that is a uh, sumo wrestler type. Yeah, I so love... it's a uh, fighting mixed with food, I guess, makes sumo, sumo. wrestling. Yeah. That makes um, sense. The the one we get later makes sense too. Like all these super, they make sense mm-hmm. why they would become who they become yeah. with the Atmon that make them, you know? Mm-hmm. And so he comes through with this, like, I think it's called like, what, a Dosuko Jet Slap or some Jet Slap or something like that. Yeah, it's like a mock Jet Slap. Yeah, and um, just destroys Gomimon. And the it's like, in the middle of Haru right, doing Haru's, a search. Gatchmon's trying to catch the search and, and get it, and before they can even find figure out a way to uh, take him down, he's already the Sukumon's already yeah. you know d- destroyed him. So they and, just uh, throw the results. So the L virus, you know, leaves Clears him. Gomimon's enjoying it and oh yeah, talking about how fresh of a nice spring day it feels <laughs> like and all this, and then we find out that he is apparently. A uh, code seven of the seven codes he is. app. Is he code seven? Yes. Okay. And uh, I think that's whenever he goes to Aerie, and then Haru kind of explains. What that right? Yeah, because yeah. at this point she doesn't know. She doesn't know she any doesn't, of this stuff. Yeah, about she doesn't the, know uh, Leviathan. Seven codes. She doesn't know the seven codes. So I, I think then she gives it to Haru, and he puts it in the right. pad. Right. Because um, Gatchmon takes the pad out from under a helmet. Under his, where he keeps helmet. his helmet. What else do you think he keeps under there? Oh yeah. Gatchy sweets. Gatchy probably. Sweets. Yeah. Um, All of them. So he pops the... Um, it's a void to another dimension. Yeah. <laughs> pops the, the app into the pad. And, uh, yeah, so then we get the end of... They obviously go back to their um, respective houses, you know. And Ari attempts to cook again. It fails. And it fails again. Peroimon uh, eats it and is like, hey, this tastes about as good as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> and that is essentially the end That's of it. that episode. What would you guys think about that one? I liked it. I mean, we got, uh, we got, I mean, for it being as short and sweet as it was, yeah. um, we got a new form. Um, we got a new Seven Codes app, Mon. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they yeah, started it dancing. Was, it, yeah. was, it was it fun. Was, it was funny. It, fun. it was funny. It had some good moments. Yeah. All of my precious. We, uh, we <laughs> met two new app, Mon, in this episode. Yeah. I think, I think we meet new app, Mon. Every episode, right? Just, about. Just there's, about. There's only been a couple where we won't meet some. Um, so now we've got two Apple drivers, mm-hmm. and we have two supers. Super Atmons. So let's meet our third. So, which brings us to episode seven. The third Apple driver, Torajiru, is an app tuber, which I don't think is that. What did you get as your... Uh, the third Apple Drive, Torajiro, is an Apple Driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, in this, so it starts out with Watson and I uh, watching AppTube, which is YouTube, YouTube. basically. And uh, Haru comes up and he apparently doesn't know what AppTube is. Which is He's been living under strange. a rock. But this, it, is, this is whenever James and I started like thinking about it, like... Going back to the second episode with Roleplay Mon. Was mm-hmm. that the second, second yeah. episode? And no, that was the third episode. Third episode? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because second episode was not Mon. Yeah. Uh, third episode of Roleplay Mon when Watson's talking about this super popular game. And Haru's just like so like dumbfounded by it. But I mean, he's a book guy. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he's, you know, one of the, the few in their world who does not completely 100% rely right. and I like on that. all their apps. I like yeah. That. No, that's it's smart. Um, so. Yeah, he didn't know about the game that just came out, the mm-hmm. biggest game, and he didn't know apparently about AppTube or AppTubers, which is just weird. Really weird because he's actually older than the he is AppTuber that mm-hmm. we have in this episode. So they he they introduce him to the AppTube channel right. of Astra, yeah. who is this young kid that does these crazy videos that he titles "Will I, Won't I, Oh I Will." <laughs> Okay, let me just get something out here real fast. <laughs> I believe at this point, like if, if we were watching this mm-hmm. as it released, I think I would be the only person in the world that likes Astra. 
because going back and actually like reading up on some of these uh, episodes as they released, right. people hated Astro. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like well, hated I mean, him. You know, and it's kind of funny. It's um, they made him annoying on purpose, right? And I think it actually like they hit the hand, they hit yeah, the nail we, right on the we head. We talked about you know? this a while back. Like, yeah, he he personifies app, YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah. Most of these really the, popular YouTubers ones. are super annoying. I can't. I don't like watching their videos really because they're annoying. They're real. They're so <laughs> out. They're so outgoing, and you know, yeah. it just kind of puts me off a bit. I like. I, a more, I can. I can see the appeal. Yeah, yeah. for oh, a lot definitely. of them. Yeah, and I mean, I've I've had roommates in the past that you know I'll just come in and just watch whatever they're watching, right. and a lot of them get really like just funny as hell. Yeah, but there's some of them that like some of their quirks are just. I don't know, kind of, kind of silly, kind of annoying. Well, he is definitely, but, and that was another thing that was kind of cool about this episode. Um, as far as I am aware for the, I don't know, bit of anime that I've watched that I can think of. I don't think YouTubers have ever really had a presence yeah. in anime. Oh. Hmm. Like, like, I don't know from, from just thinking about it off the top of my head. Yeah. I feel like this is the first uh, character that we've ever gotten that's represented YouTubers hmm. before. Yeah. In terms of character. And he's a really annoying 11 year old. I was going to say, so why is he, why is he such a, why is he so young? I don't know. I think, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's why? just how they made the character. Um, so he, he basically does these videos where he, he does something crazy or he eats something crazy. It's or, all about challenges. And right. Stuff. Challenges. So, yeah. um, and he does these crazy hand gestures when he does his. James I wish this was a video. Uh, I, I, I will. I will do he's this. Doing it. The whole. <laughs> he's probably going to do it the entire the whole episode. episode and the next one because this next one's an Astro specific episode. Turn around and not look um, at him for the rest of the episode. <laughs> uh, so in this first in this video that we be prepared to hear the see, catchphrase oh a lot god. from James. Oh my god! Yeah. I love Astro. I'm not. Looking but you know now to it. though, like looking at episodes like episode thirty just released, mm-hmm. people like Astro now. More, he's he's yeah. grown on him, you know. But I can understand yeah. why you would be well, annoyed, but I I don't know why I like him so one, much. He's one funny. of the Musimon his which is his app, which we'll get to in a little bit. We're yeah. kind of jumping ahead, but um it's or I'm jumping thing ahead. Ever. Yeah, like spoilers. It's super cool. Jesus. Like they're funny. I don't know. So anyways, let's just let's keep going before I spoil everything. Yeah, I know. Um so they watch this video. He's eating a curry and habanero chili bun. Gross. Which that doesn't sounds sound good, to, good me. to me. I don't know. It I don't looks like habanero. Just like a, I don't like chili. A roll. I, chili's good. It looks I like just a roll. Don't like habanero. Yeah. But it's obviously stuffed with habanero. And habanero chili. and oh my god, it sounds good. Mouth watering over there. It is. I'm like, do you, hungry. Do you need to contain yourself? I might. We need to just pause this and go eat real fast. Um, <laughs> I <have> food break. <laughs> he. <laughs> um. So they watch this video, and. During the video, he, which I thought he was like doing it on purpose, but when he goes to pick up the chili bun, he brings up to his mouth and he bites it, but it's it's an, an apple yellow drive. apple drive. Like, and how do you confuse those two in your hand? That's what I th- like that's, you said it was on purpose. It doesn't feel like a thing that he would just I don't know want to show off to people. Well, I mean, he is a kid. Yeah, and true. He's probably just using. This thing is whatever's so near him cool. and he probably keeps his apple drive that's near true. him but which that's Aerie, another thing we Aerie never discussed dumped her apple drive right on the <laughs> they obviously don't yeah. care um uh, that people know yeah. or at least see these things you know that, that was another thing that we never really got into is where the hell do they keep them because you and i own oh, yeah, the toys of them but there's no um belt clip yeah there's there's no belt clip thing Okay. Uh, you were just sorry sorry oh man that guy is loud so anyway yeah we they just pull him out of nowhere mm-hmm. seemingly well Astra does wear a hoodie right they all wear jackets I guess jacket pocket mm-hmm. okay and I think Astra's pants are baggy so maybe he has a sure. deep pocket, you know? I don't know. But I know Haru wears a jacket or a hoodie, so he could always keep it in his hoodie pocket. Those are usually... I'm just sad there's no belt clip for this. Yeah. I'm going to... Well, you know, Jerry, you've been complaining about this for like a week now, so it's I'm about gonna... time to get over it. I'm going to mod it God, and put a belt clip so on it. He texts me yeah, every night break. about <laughs> every belt night. No. You know, this uh, <laughs> athlete drive is really cool, but it, it could really use a belt, belt clip. clip. 
Uh, so anyways, Haru sees the apple drive and is like... There's an extreme reaction from him and Godchmon, yes. and then we cut to the opening of the show. Right, which is great. Yeah. I don't think we've talked about the theme song for this thing, which uh, I dig. Uh, yeah, Dive. You've heard, you're, yep. you've probably dive. heard, heard part, part of it the at the intro. intro. Yeah, 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 we throw the intro in there. Um, so... Yeah, you'll definitely hear it at the mm-hmm. beginning of this episode. I wish I could just play the whole thing, but we'd probably be like sued, sued. out our ass. <laughs> yeah. We'd have to live I on the street. Know, yes. yeah, we, we'd all have to pull our money together just to pay the... Well, I got five people. bucks. <laughs> Merle, it'd be you pulling in all the money. Merle got all the money. Merle's like a popular app tuber. Oh, yeah. that's something else. You know, I wonder if Astra monetizes his account because he's probably like rich. Yeah. It says later somewhere in one of these episodes that he's got millions of subscribers. All right. So Which if I he's don't monetizing this like account, how, how he's boring, probably doing okay. How boring are other app tubers if he gets that many subscribers with like the I don't know kind of mediocre stuff that he does. I don't know. But I you know, I don't mean to talk bad about your boy or anything. No, it's you know. <laughs> you also got to You're gonna come around. You'll all come around. So. <laughs> I this mean, is this is in the future too. I mean, yeah, he's yeah, right. I mean, yeah, like later on. He's uh, I he grows on you for sure, especially well, after you know. This to episode. me, this episode was great, yeah. and like after watching it, I was like, I like Astra. Yeah. Then you watch the next episode, and he sort of does a plummet. Yeah, he plummets a bit, you know, but he picks it back up by right. the end of it. Right. So yeah, spoilers. Yeah. Okay, thanks for getting Golly. us into the next episode. If right? you if you just let me go through here, I wouldn't spoil everything. Yeah, I mean we're only. You know, we're only five episodes into this episode. Oh my so. gosh. Okay, so <laughs> Haru decides to go find him at his elementary school. Right. And um, he just gets, is able to walk right on him. He now. gets uh, Gachman to do a search on him and finds out what the closest school to yeah. where he broadcasts from. So he hangs out at school one day. Not creepy for, at all. I thought about this, but Haru's only two years older than. He's 13, right? So. Mm-hmm. It's probably not that weird to see a 13-year-old hanging sure. out at a elementary Watching school. It could drugs, be picking up a little kid. brother. Uh, you know, I got you. you never know. Um, so, let's see. We find out that Astra is a mix of his first and last name. And that he's in 11 in the 5th grade. Um, Do you remember his first and last name? Did you write it down? It's Torajiru... Okay. Uh, Asoko or something like that. So you get A-S from the last name, last name and the T. Wait, how do you get? <laughs> it's it's how they do the kanji, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Gotta love kanji. <laughs> he is, so we see him come out. And I still don't know what that says. <laughs> Impractical. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. Impractical. Impractical. Anyways, um, James I didn't can now you, decipher I didn't, his I honestly hand, didn't right? know you knew how to spell that word, so kudos to you, sir. It actually doesn't look at all like impractical. <laughs> so what? Imper, imp, anyway. Impractical. Let's, 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 uh, <laughs> so we see him come out of school, and he is full-on Astra. Yeah, super annoying and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Doing his uh, catchphrase with everything. With, just, like, just do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, not, okay, yeah. I, I will do it at some point, but I'm not going to do it when you want me to do it. All right, Jerry. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. So, he. Um, one thing I do like about this uh, this scene is how Gatchmon ain't having none of this asterisk business, man. Yeah, he feels exactly <laughs> the way I do about yeah. it. He's like, "Wow, this this isn't going to get old he even fast says, at all." He even says at one time, at one point, like after just I think he hears Astra do his catchphrase twice. And he's already like, he says, I am already he's tired, tired of, of this shtick, sh- man. Shtick. Sh- <laughs> uh, this, this shtick is getting old. We already know. We, so, we, we know what word he wants to substitute for shtick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could see Gatchmon being a... A sailor. A, a, cussing like a sailor, <laughs> man. He just seems like the I mean, one. he's a search engine, so... Yes. Yeah, so. Um, so he... Um, he probably gets all that. Kind so of Haru follows him and, like, holler, hollers at him and calls him his name. And... Astra turns around and gets it real ticked and is not like, get a good, uh, response do not call me by that name. I, I go by Astra, you know? <laughs> Don't call me by my slave and, name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, so when he's getting, you know, he's hollering at, at Haru about 
um, calling him by his real name, he notices Gatchmon, and he he's like, oh hey, is that a you know what is this you know is this a Atmon and all this kind of stuff? And I love I love this scene because um, he's saying, hey, who are you? You know, talking to Gatchmon, and then immediately totally loses interest after as Gatchmon starts to tell him like. Hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. He, yeah. he, some guy with a crazy hairstyle walks past him, and Har or Astra just totally loses interest and goes over to this guy. Yep. He's a kid. ADD. He is a just kid, you know? Straight up. Um, 110%. So we, so we cut to them in a, in like a wooded park. Looks like a park. Yeah, they just something. show up in the woods all yeah. of a sudden. And, uh, smash cut. They're checking out each other's Apple drives. Mm-hmm. And Musimon pops out. No Musimon, no life. Oh man, I love Musimon. Um, and they're just like each other. Astra and Musimon, oh, yeah. they fit like. Yeah, uh, Astra looks like a bunny rabbit. Musimon's a bunny rabbit. I I could see that distinction. I see where I see where this episode is gonna go. Uh, <laughs> but all you're gonna hear is like stuff start crashing. Me and Jerry start fighting. And I um, so Musimon. Merle will keep going with the episode though yeah. as we're fighting. Uh, so. Let's see. Um, Muse Mom looks like a, a bunny rabbit. He does look right? like a bunny rabbit. He's a bi- little bipedal mm-hmm. bunny rabbit. He's got ears. He's got hands on the hands. ends of his ears, so he basically has four arms. And whenever he uh, real cool. whenever he does his uh, the shtick that Asher does, mm-hmm. he does the little rock on. With all four hands. Yeah, man. with with the ears and the, the <laughs> hands. Uh, so they talk for just a minute, but Asher realizes... What time, what time it, is. it is, and he like books it out. Yeah, right? he's just like, oh it's no, mail it's mail time. Yeah, it's almost gotta go. Time. So uh, Haru follows him and realizes that he lives in this like massive like castle. Yeah, essentially this huge estate. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he's just like, this can't be it. Yeah, and so a guy comes out, looks like he works at the estate or whatever, um, and he takes him inside, takes Haru inside, and we see Astra sitting. By his dad, kneeling, kneeling in front yeah. of his dad, and he's like, looks like a normal kid. Yeah. His hair is different. He's like, like in well behaved. Yeah, he's well behaved, mm-hmm. and he's asking his dad, "Can he use the computer to do AppTube?" And we see that he only gets thirty minutes a day to to use to AppTube. Yeah. And uh, Haru, you know, the the guy opens the door and he says, "You know, hey, this is." You know, somebody here to see, you know, Astra, or, well, it doesn't say Astra, uses his real name, and... Someone here to see Young Master, whatever his last mm-hmm. name is. Um, I'm not really Now, is Toro his first name, or is his last name? Because don't they... When they're speaking in Japanese, How does that reverse, work? I think they call him Toro Jiru. Surname goes in front. Yeah. Because, like, I know... Takato from season three, mm-hmm. I think it's Takato is Takato Matsuki to us, but whenever I've read like or seen you know from the Japanese, it's like Matsuki Takato. You know, like I don't know why they flip it. I don't know enough about. Yeah, we are uncultured. Yeah, so um, Astra sees Haru and he's like, what? didn't what say like what are you doing him? here but that's basically what yeah. he's you know and his dad asks him like are you a friend of um Torajiru's and uh, I I don't remember does that does Haru say yes or does he just stand there like a goober I think we I can't just remember cut to the next scene well, well but I do I remember that his dad was like you can stay till dinner yeah he just yeah. sits there for a second like there's a pause and then he's like you can stay you can hang with well I didn't say hang but you can um you stay with, that, with my son you till, till dinner. dinner. And so they go outside and they're going to watch Astra do a new video. And uh he sets the he sets their clock, which is this cool thing of uh it's like a bamboo stick with water that runs through it. Yeah. And it I guess when it after fills up, it I think it's 10 minutes uh each each time it oh, no, drops it down uh... cuz at one point he uh there's a I want to say there's an episode, or it's in this episode, where it knocks one time, and they say 10 minutes, because it goes back. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Because but, um, he says, when it goes down again, you'll be done. 
and he it drops and he sets the clock for 30 minutes mm. um so it's a uh shishi odoshi right shishu shishi odoshi yep yeah okay um so so he, he decides he's going to do this feed of uh jumping into a pond full of slime. green slime and we we've discussed, but I don't think either one of us realized if it was like it's like Nick pond slime, slime or if it's like gelatin slime that he threw into the pond. Either way, that's messed up yeah. of Astra because it looks like a koi pond. They obviously have servants. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to call them servants before, but they're not indentured servants. But still, I mean, paid. I'm sure they get paid, but and I'm sure they're treated well. And but they, you don't want to call you don't want to be called a servant. Come on. You know, working, you know, butler. Yeah, sure. Uh, somebody's got to clean that up, though, and it's probably not going to be Astra. Yeah. So he better be, better make a lot of like, better get a lot of likes <laughs> off that video, you know. <laughs> so um, I remember Gatchmon commenting, now he doesn't get, he just doesn't he get still this. He doesn't know? get it at all. Um, he is just, just sick of it, just oh, over yeah. Astra yeah. at this point. He's like, hey, let's just take his Apple driver and his Atmon, and let's get <laughs> to somebody <laughs> no, better. No. Why? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I like um, how you did the hand I started. Gesture I was going to start you, doing it. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, so he rips off his clothes. He's got a bathing suit under. Right. right. Oh, I thought it was just a black bar. No, he's got a bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I think it was actually like a Speedo or something, right? I and he think had, it was shorts. I thought it was oh, shorts. okay, really? And he had, yeah. Didn't he have like a little diving cap? I think he does have a diving yeah. cap, yeah. <laughs> but it's one of those anime... Uh, where you know, he just rips all of his, yeah, his clothes, clothes just come off, off nicely, and he's got the. Uh, um, so he jumps in. Does he jump in? Yeah, yeah. He gets. He jumps in the pool or the the pond, and. Um, will I? Won't I? <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> and so he jumps in the in the pond, and suddenly his time on the the laptop he silly goes to zero ticks dies down, down to zero like yeah. immediately and they shuts the laptop off so i'm assuming his that dad is set is... like parental maybe some parental <laughs> controls on there yeah. like you I get 30 minutes and once 30 minutes this thing's shutting off but he's like hey it's not been 30 minutes yet the thing and we see him? an atmon jump from the computer onto a wi-fi signal thingy and like just start bouncing away and uh it is who is this watchmon yeah it's watchmon right uh clock clockmon is it clock who is it <laughs> look at your notes oh checking the notes i think it's watch because he, he looks like a watch notes. oh checking the notes he didn't make a note of this one i did i did you you shush um <laughs> Nope. No, no. Nope. We're going to let Merle be the deciding vote. Is it Watchmon or Clockmon? Clockmon? Oh, you're both wrong. I can't wait to prove y'all wrong. Uh, Watchmon. It's Watchmon. 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 What did I say? Clockmon? Yes. Yeah, it's Watchmon. There is a Clockmon. I didn't have him in my notes, but I had him in my stats page. All right. So, what does he look like, James? He looks like a watch. Oh, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like a, what uh, does the head of a watch look like? Yeah, like the face of a watch, not the head of a watch. <laughs> Watches don't have heads, they just have faces. This one is an app mon though, so he kinda does have a head. <laughs> okay, his right? head's his body though, right? <laughs> his head is his body. Okay, so it's so just what his face. Is the face I don't know, of is it digital or like? is it uh No, it's it's uh it's it's analog. Is it an analog? Yeah, analog. Um it he starts like he starts jump oh god. He starts jumping. I see where you're going now. Yeah. Uh, he starts jumping around, messing time, time up, up for everything. Uh, flights, when trains leave, mm-hmm. um, How sporting much time events. You have left because we we just realized we just found out that Afro Man is a football player. Is he so, a football player? Football. Football. Okay. Uh, the referee holds up the the time that's being added to the clock due to penalties and stoppages. Starts out two minutes. Dude jumps on it, goes back up to a whole nother half, <laughs> 45 minutes. Seriously? No. It's oh, no, he doesn't say not, no, no on that one. Did, this is one of the few times where it's just like, no. no so no. this part didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but 
Astro is mad, and he chases after him to get time to get back. his app tube time back. Right, but I don't, I don't know if he realized that, that he's not going to get any time back when he does. Well, maybe time is irrelevant <clears throat> in maybe. the AR field. Well, it's not. It's not. It's no, it's not. And even so, he's done <laughs> wasted time in the real world yeah. looking for him. That's right. So they do get and into an AR field. That there's no time travel. At I all. think he runs into Haru, right? He does. He runs into Haru. Um, and they enter. Do all three of them? No. Yeah, he runs into Haru and Eri. Or is it just Haru? I think it's just Haru. Eri going. Um, yeah, because uh, Eri had. Oh, met that's right. She's Astra she is at there. this point. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. So, they jump into the R- AR field, and he's um. He decides to sh- show them embarrassing moments, you know, because he can. Turn back the clock. Turn right? back time. Oh, back. yeah. <laughs> I was wondering when Cher was going to show up in this podcast. Um, so, of course, for Haru, the embarrassing Right, he wants, he, to embarrass him. he wants to embarrass him. He wants to embarrass him because that's how you hurt kids, right? <laughs> he brings in his mom's blog from the first ep- first episode. When he wakes you know what would be great? What? It would be great if like this was a running thing throughout the whole show. That it's like just certain app, remind certain him. app mon just keep bringing up this uh, <laughs> just keep moment. reminding just keep people hurting that, side that, more. that Haru peed the bed until fourth grade. That would be great. Haru um, to a serial killer. And it... it Messes Haru up. Oh yeah, he he like falls into this corner in like the <laughs> fetal position and like. So uh, we'll see. But it does not phase Astra at all. Astra's like, give me, give me your best shot. Hit me. I ain't Let's got nothing this. to be embarrassed about. And then it shows, which really he does. It's not embarrassing. And then he sees right? his uh, origin, but Astra's origin. Do you story. think his or? I mean, do you think it's embarrassing? Would you have been embarrassed by this? I I think whenever it starts off, he's embarrassed just to. I don't know, kind of, it's uh, it's showing Haru, like, who he really is underneath, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. I, aside from the whole shell of That's him true, being I guess. Yeah, I see what you mean. That he didn't want people to. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's that, that side that he tries to so, keep deep down. So here's, here's Astra's origin. Um, Astra is part of a family of tea brewers. Brewers, Mixers, right? yeah. And, um... Which is a big thing in Japan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're really big into mixing. Obviously, tea. because this family is clearly rich. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he decides that <clears throat> he's going to be the family's successor. They ask him. His dad asks him, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he says, I want to be the... I want to take heir. over. You know? Yeah, the heir. So... Um, successor. Successor. Yes. So, right, because... Uh, they're well, at school. Call them an heir, but on that school paper, right? They write success. Mm-hmm. So at a, on a school paper, they're asked to write down what you want to be when you grow up. Yeah, and he immediately it, puts successor. It feels it feels almost like he was guilted into it because he's the only son of this family to sure. carry over the legacy. But at the oh, same yeah, he time, did overhear those. Yeah, the the yeah, women yeah. that were talking in his house about it. They're yeah. like, oh, he'll be a great successor, and he just. It he almost seems like he feels like this is his father's expectations for him, right. so he wants to live up to it. But at the same time, half the time we almost feel like his father would be fine well, with whatever he decides to do. We we see that, but maybe as a kid, yeah, he doesn't he, notice he doesn't that necessarily. You know? Yeah, yeah. So after this, he runs across a couple of friends, and they're watching an AppTube video, and it's the first time that he's introduced to AppTube, mm-hmm. and did you write the name of the app tuber they were watching? Down? I did not. Oh, no. PewDiePie. Oh my god! No. <laughs> um, and he realizes like this is something he'd like to do, but his dad wouldn't approve of it. This is what he thinks. Yes. And as he's walking home, <laughs> a drone comes flying by. Completely normal. Mm-hmm. Drops a package down on his head. Says Musimon on it. Yeah. And it's got the little, Am- it looks like Amazon riding and everything. Yeah. And uh, it's got his Apple Drive in it. And of course, it's grayed out or whatever because until you answer the make question, the choice, yeah, it, it doesn't activate. Right. Yes. So, along with the Apple Drive, he gets the chip of Musimon. Right. And Musimon starts talking to him 
And they decide to have fun. Yeah, he, uh, they just want to go play. Yeah. You know? Uh, well, first, this is a sweet moment. Musimon says, uh, his thing is no music, no life. And, uh, he says that he can hear the music in Astra's heart. And this, let's see. Oh, I noted how Astra has, is not the least bit messed up about any of this, (laughs) about this thing, (laughs) just dropping it down. This little monster is talking to him, you know, like. Not messed up about any of this. It's all fairly normal. So they decide to start play together, and we get a montage of all the stuff they do throughout the day. Go and uh, <laughs> so at the end of the night, they're in an alley, some random dark mm-hmm. alley, and Astra's like, "All right, time for me to go." Like, <laughs> hey, that bye. was a lot of fun. Yeah. Later, sets the Apple Drive down on like oh, trash can or something. Like, it, and, I mean, to me, it's like just leaving a toy. Mm-hmm. You know, out somewhere. Like, why would you do that? Yeah. Just take that home with you. Well, it it gives him the question yeah. of follow your heart, yes or no. And But he starts walking away, and Musumon's pleading for him to to come back and let him, he said, like, let him dance to the music in his heart, you know? Yes. And he starts, like, um, clapping. clapping to this a beat. beat. Yep. Um, that sick beat. Mm-hmm. And it... And it kind of hits hits Ashford deep right. down cuz he's saying like to follow you know kept bringing you, know, you need follow to follow your heart, yeah you know? follow music in your heart and so he turns around and he like starts walking back towards him with the beat so beats like just you know kind of you know kind of slow at first and as he gets closer Musimon speeds it up mm-hmm. and he gets walking faster and faster and he's he's pleading to him this whole time and Ashford's saying things like you know, it's not what I'm supposed to do. This right. isn't what I'm supposed to do. You it's know? like not not uh, the expectations right. for him. But finally, when he he realizes that, yes, I got to do it, though. I got to follow my heart. I think as he's walking down, he's uh, saying the whole, what ends up oh, being his Oh, right. Race. He ends yeah. up like, will I? And then Musimon is, like, yeah, yeah, and they, yeah. they are going back and forth. And finally, he grabs. It was a the, it was a cute scene. It was as a annoying great scene. as annoying as the character is. Mm-hmm. I'll admit that that yes. that scene really made Bam. me really made me grow on them. Um, made them grow on me. But you he know. they're still annoying, though. right? He grabs the drive, no, <laughs> and hits yes, and so he becomes the you know the yellow Apple driver. And Does he so immediately Apple realize. Uh, music we don't see it. I don't think so. I, I think, think he does. then the scene pops up with him. He goes to, to his, his dad. dad. Yeah. Dad for yeah. Just basically saying. Um, He's the one that brings up. Uh, let me do it for thirty minutes a day. Yeah. He says, "Can I be? Can I do app tube just for thirty minutes a day?" And his dad's actually cool with it. Yeah. And so, bam, Astro is born. You know. So. We cut back to the AR field, mm-hmm. and they're all sitting there watching this thing. And uh, it's to me, it is the most unorthodox yeah. battle ever. So, Musimon, he aptly arises Musimon. And as soon as Musimon takes off to go fight Watchmon, Watchmon like wraps him up in him, like almost in himself, instantly. you know. So, he's like, he's got him, he's got Musimon wrapped up. And um, he, let's see, he can't escape. He, he says he can't escape his altered time, and so which gives Haru the idea to search for how do you set the time? Yeah, you know. And so they pull up. Yeah, the answer is you, you synchronize, synchronize it with with the grid. Exactly. What what is the uh, what is the clock? The clock tower. The Greenwich There's Observatory. Uh, one more time, it's slower. The Greenwich Observatory. And where is it at? In England. In England. <laughs> okay. So this is this is the watchtower that all time is based upon. Right. So what happens if that just stops? Does time just stop? Like, what if it starts going slow? Does that mean everybody has to reset their time yep. to go slower mm-hmm. to follow it? All right. Our our timekeeping is very weird. Yes. yes. And apparently. To Watchmon, this is God. Yeah, he yeah. he looks at <laughs> it. And, <laughs> and when he, he gets distracted and lets Musimon loose, and um, let me see. 
Oh, and Astra pulls out his uh, his table. turntable. Yeah, which and is how he uses that's it his to, controller. We have yeah. Haru that has his search engine keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. We have Ari that has her control pad. Mm -hmm. It's essentially a, an NES sure. control pad with uh, the you know the directions and AB. And then now we have Astra that's got turntables mm -hmm. that uses to help music on it. Yep. With their type. Mm -hmm. okay. And they, they and they take out uh, Watchmon, right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, they go about their they they get his they, app. They chip. get his app. Yeah, they get his chip, which is it, not a not seven codes. Seven, not codes. seven codes, which I mean makes sense because you can't find them all at once. Yeah, you can't yeah. just get a, a seven code a episode after and, episode. And, after and episode. this is actually um, kind of interesting thinking about it because Haru like. His was in the heat of battle. He had to aptly real. He had to answer that question and aptly realize oh, on yeah. the heat of battle, else he was screwed. Um, Ari didn't really have this problem, and um, Astra didn't really have this problem. No. They they just got to have a lot of just you know bundle of fun before having come into their first fight. We haven't seen like Ari's like origin story yet, right? When she first first got it. No, but Not I mean, yet. we know that they didn't get into a fight or anything right. because she, she didn't. She had never aptly arised That's Dokemon true. until. That is true. Yeah, yeah. So we wrap up the episode with Astra finally going and doing his slime. Oh, shtick that's right. Yeah, yeah. That uh, Gachmon still doesn't get, but who cares what Gachmon thinks? And that's essentially the end of that episode. Mm -hmm. um, so it takes us to episode eight. Episode eight. Final episode for this. Episode. This, yeah. <laughs> episode section. I like to call them segments. Segments. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, man, episode, like episode eight section. is called This is a Serious <laughs> Problem. Astra's plan for fun, fun videos. And I mean, what could go wrong? It sounds like a pretty uh lighthearted episode, wrong. right? A lot yeah. can go wrong. Alright, so Astra's at school. Yes. Surrounded being, by being his Astra. fans. Oh god. And uh, they're, they're discussing all, one of his late like I think his at one video. point they all quote his little catchphrase. They do, phrase, and, they it's do. Really, and it's awesome. Really, no, it's annoying. It it's is awesome. so annoying. Uh, and one of them brings up like they can't wait to see his interview with Ari. Yeah, and, and he's like, "What are you talking about?" What are you talking about? What and they tell him, you know, well, she's about to interview the most popular app tuber in the world, and it's you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's you know, got to be you. you. Yeah. At that point, he gets a phone call from right. Haru, and, it's, and Haru's like, "You wanna meet? Him? Yo, bro, you uh, wanna meet Karen Ari?" And then Astra's just like starstruck. He's like, "Oh, there that's it is. Awesome. I guess so you, I'm the most popular yeah. in the world." And then that's whenever we roll to our theme song. I just want to dive into the future. That's all I no, know. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> no, I don't do know. Do the Japanese. <laughs> One of these days. You know what I do like? I actually thought about this. I started Attack on Titan right. recently. And, you can't understand uh, Well, <laughs> I actually, I just started watching the dub just because I watched a ton of Digimon that day. Oh. And like I was texting you last night, like I didn't really want to people read anymore you know yeah. so i just put the dub on because i really i haven't i still haven't watched that whole series and i think in their theme song it uh gives you subtitles yeah. in japanese mm -hmm. it's like why, well, why I, do i need this japanese I, subtitles i don't think um, because the song's in japanese yeah yeah <laughs> but but here's the thing about it. Um, I think they do that for all anime because I don't think it's our subtitlers that put it in. I think it's already in oh. the anime whenever they bring it over. So okay. you know, kids can you sing along to it and everything. Mean. Okay, like that. you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. I just thought it was, I just cut yeah. up though. I was like, yeah. that's interesting because I think they usually have the uh, the lyrics to the Japanese theme songs on the top screen, top of the screen. Right. right. So that's why they always put our um, English sense. English that subtitles. Sense. Makes sense. On the bottom. It's just why I brought you guys here. Yeah. You see? You're welcome. Uh, and all right, so. you know, NBC. <laughs> so, um, they meet up at the bookstore, which is the. Um, Our the central place. hub it's at the this hub. point. And uh, they're both like being. Their personalities e they're, clash. Yeah. Real yeah. Uh, you know, That's Aries, because their egos are like right. way too big. Aries out outgoing, doing her, you know, talking about how she's the queen of the universe. or center of the universe or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and Astra's like, dude, I'm like the most popular yeah. app tuber. Uh, yeah, you know, he's get, just get out of here all, with that yeah. stuff. Um, he's and, all trying to be laid back and look cool and stuff. Right. He's got his feet on the table and stuff. Oh yeah, 
She's and, standing um, on top of a chair, like pointing at him. It's this, pretty. It's pretty great. This is where he says, "You know, I got millions of subs. You know, like come on." Um, and uh, Asterisk, this is this was I like. I thought this was funny because uh, he mentions being on TV, getting interviewed, right? Yes. And Haru's like, "Whoa, are you about to be on TV?" You know, because <laughs> Haru had no idea. <laughs> right. He just wanted. We find out that because basically Haru just wanted to introduce them because they're right. both athlete drivers, exactly. And he wanted to get the group together in hopes that they could all join together to sure. fight Leviathan. But Astro wasn't really thinking that mm. way. Because he, he thought. Had just heard. That character exactly. going to be interviewing the most popular. He, he thought that, that, that he wanted to inter- like bring him in so she could get to know him to interview him. Right. Not the case. No. So it turns out she's going to interview some guy. Some, um, some, his thing is Se- similar Seijiru. Of, a similar type of um, Seijiru <laughs> is his... And he does challenges and stuff too, but right. on a global scale. Yeah. Like he will uh, travel uh, and spend beast. money and do all kinds of craziness. Mm-hmm. Stuff that Astro can only dream about at this point. Yeah. So Musimon is trying to cheer him up by saying uh, that, because they watch a video of this guy, and he's telling him like, dude, there was no heart in that video, you mm-hmm. know? And Musimon. Uh, oh, Musimon. Yeah. He's just, did we find out you know. how right he was? Well, Spoiler. yeah. Um, so they, uh, it, it peps at, it, it makes Astra decide, okay, I got to go out there and make a awesome video, you know? And so they decide I'm going to do calisthenics for 10 straight minutes. No breaks, no nothing. All right. It's some, uh, uh and so it's so hardcore it calisthenics. Is. It is. We should do them for this podcast. Yeah. Like, as we're, on, as on we're the saying podcast it, while we're recording. Yeah, right now, get no, up. I would die. No, get up. We're going to do calisthenics for the rest die. of this. Well, it'll it'll make us go through our notes a lot faster, right? That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this thing would end like immediately. Um, All right, I'm done. So, Musimon does the calisthenics too, by the way, and it's super cute. Yep. Because he's not aptly arised or anything. He's just the little Little chip, app chip you know? and he's doing calisthenics. Uh, so... The video is so. Is he doing live like YouTube videos or something? Because that I don't they're know. immediately up. Yeah, you know that. That's a good question. Uh, I feel like it's it one is of those instances where the passage of time is not immediate. Is is not like like you know how in a show you've only witnessed ten seconds, but it's been like 20, uh, thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's probably something like that. That's but, that's all I can. I don't assume that he's doing them because the slime challenge. Yeah, he uh, he probably had to pre-record, right. and then he probably, of course, used the second one. Um, so I lost my place. Oh, that video gets him dislikes. Yes, right? no, like a ton of dislikes. He gets so disliked. disliked. So he's like, no, 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 it's they cool. Drop a hate bomb it's cool. Line. We're gonna do another. We'll do another one. Right? It's alright. And then yeah. the music mom brings up the little hitch in that plan. His father only wants him to do, and only cleared him to do That's one true. video a day. But he's like, you know what? Screw it. No, we're doing more than one video a day. Um, and our next one's gonna be what, James? <laughs> so he gets a juice. He gets some juice, right? right. Oh, it's, he's gonna, this is already starting off pretty yeah. simple. Yeah, juice. He's gonna drink the juice through a straw. Okay. The straw, I'll however, follow. is um, some sort of food. It's yeah. a snack. It's I, I don't remember what they call it because I can't read. Uh, Your this looks like Chihuahua. <laughs> so I think I think you put churro. I, that's what it looks like. Yeah. I know it's not. I know that's not it's, what it is. It's, it's like a giant like noodle type thing. Yeah. It's it's almost like a sort of like sponge. Right. Sorta, yeah, yeah. Is what it seems like, and he's trying to drink it through this giant sponge. <laughs> so he has to like suck extra hard so yeah. all of the liquid goes through it, well, and it's game. very. Weird, He's out of and, when it's yeah, done. and it turns out, um, not only does he have to suck hard, but his video sucks hard too because it gets Videos a ton of dislikes. Gets downloaded to hell. Um, oh, downloaded, but I forgot, downvoted, downvoted, downvoted. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I forgot though. Haru and uh, Ari show up at his place, yeah. and they're and fixing Haru's a talk. Just like, oh yeah, that's they're, awesome. Well, I remember they they walk in, like open the door, and they're fixing to say something. Muse them on, like. Rushes up to his face to tell him, like, Whoa, he's quit. recording. He's, he's facing record no, or whatever. No noise. And uh, Haru is digging the hell out of it. He thinks it's yeah. the best thing ever. Aerie, not so much. 
Um, and then obviously we see the they get it. He gets a ton of dislikes. She shows Haru the video, which is why there's there's no upload time in yeah. there. You know, she she pulls her phone out right there and says, "This look, this is what we just watched, or this is what they just watched." Yeah, and it's, it's just, just Astra juice. sitting on the floor drinking her juice like normal, like no sort of. Nothing. It's yeah. just him just drinking. It, it doesn't juice. have the big crazy thing he's Mm-mm. using as a straw. Oh, for some so, reason he doesn't tell Astra this. Or yeah, I think they went true. to. I think they went to attention. investigate. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah. So they leave him to his own devices, because, and he thinks. Or does he just shoot out? I I think either they left or he left because I don't think they would have um, just left it at that. You know? Right. Oh, and his next idea. Huh. That's so, just when we're starting to enter anything to keep my popularity territory. Right. And so he runs off, and we see that the the Seijiru guy did a video where he's like conducting an orchestra, like a grand symphony. And so Astra decides, I can conduct a grand symphony of farts. Yeah, not not his best moment. No, 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 no. And this is where I was talking about how uh, Astra's plummeting when yeah. it comes to li- like us liking him he's, me he's liking getting him, desperate know? at yeah. this point and he's just thinking of wild and crazy things to but you know, you know it kind of makes sense in the first episode or the last episode rather like i ended up really liking astra mm-hmm. right yes and guess what he's the most popular app tuber everybody likes him right yes you get to this episode people stop liking him mm-hmm. you know and Guess what? As a viewer, you stop liking him, you know, yeah. because he's getting. You're like, wow, you're really just yeah. kind of. So it's kind of, it's like I don't know. So, anyways, he uh, loads up on sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, man. Oh, sweet potatoes. Sweet Apparently potatoes. I don't even understand the now the scene that we open up on here with the sweet potatoes, <laughs> where they're like, some, wait, maybe in first, a park. Wait, first they have to meet. Uh, what's his name? They go to a like a music shop, remember? Oh yeah. And they okay. he's talking about you know he's, he's got a yeah he's got to get something to make his farts, know, farts sound yeah. good yeah they and they have to sound you know which is impossible. beautiful Rickomon Rico Rickomon 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 uh, comes out and he's a microphone he's a recording app he's a standard type appmon right and he tells him that he can help him record his flatulence with the best sound quality. <laughs> and so they that's where we cut to the scene where there's out of, in the park yeah cooking boiling, on one of those campfire things yeah boiling sweet potatoes yeah. and um just random yeah i don't use them on not not feeling it yeah uh he's and he even he asked him like is this really the type of music that you're wanting to to play in astra Asher's just like I have to. Yeah, I gotta get my channel back, you know. And, and Musimon's just basically like, since when did when have we done this for life? Exactly, you know. And so he turns away, saying like, "This that there's his no playlist, room for this yeah, his, his playlist, playlist doesn't have room for this type of music." Yeah. And he walks away, and Asher yells at him like, "Well, I'll do it myself well, then. I don't need you, you, you know." And and at that point, um, well, no, I guess it was a little further on. Well, now we cut to. He's made his video, he's put it out, yep. and he's walking down the street, and he's hearing the reaction of people, you know, or I'm assuming he's hearing it. Yeah. Maybe he's been, it could have been one of those things where, where he's, he's hearing the comments or something. That yeah. he read. Yeah. But anyway, so we hear people saying like... Um, when did he get so yeah, vulgar? Yeah, when he gets so vulgar, mm-hmm. he's losing it, he's... As he moves into the fourth um, um, His um His, his channel, like, it's like his popularity didn't last long and all this, he's kind of, you know, so... Um, he gets to the point where he's like, maybe I should just straight up copy this guy, you know, yeah. just, and he says, my dad knows a well, owner. I think he, he sees a video of Seijiro and he's in a, uh, some kind of restaurant mm-hmm. and he's baking something extraordinary. Right. And then that's when Astra pops up and he's like, oh, my, my dad knows the chef of a restaurant. Maybe I can go do a challenge there. And right. I think at that point, like we see his phone, right? Yeah, um, a video pops up. Like you see, he gets a video. I'm assuming he. Well, it's it's before that. Was it before that that we saw the uh, the next? Oh one? yeah, the dude kind of yeah reveals at, himself at, at to one us point, at least not to Astra or anybody. Yeah, 
We uh, at one point, I think it was after Rekomon showed up, we see from the AppTube app, AppTube app, we see this little TV app on that mm-hmm. obviously has the L virus kind of right, pop up, yeah. like give a weird uh, laugh and then kind of go back in, <laughs> mm-hmm. and no nobody noticed. Asher didn't notice or anything mm-hmm. like that. So then, so we we see a video of Musimon like singing, kind of rapping. Yeah. Um, and Astra starts thinking back to the their first video that they yeah. ever made because he he recognizes yeah the he recognizes area that he's where in. Musimon's at. Yes. It's in a garage or whatever, it's like in a, a warehouse. warehouse. And um, so Ast- Astra goes there. Oh no, we see in the in his flashback that uh, they were. Like they make the video and Musimon says something, you know, about it and uh or I think he says, Do you really think people will like this or whatever? And Astra says, Oh, I'm not doing it for the likes, I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah. You know, it's just fun. Following and, the music in his heart. Yeah. And uh so he gets to the garage, they have you know, they talk, they have a little heart to heart, you know, and they make up or whatever. And he says, uh Musimon says, No Astra no life, and then uh, Astra says, "No music, no music on." Yeah, you know I'm doing it. No life, you know you got to do the hand gestures. Nice. You probably teared up watching this. You just don't want to admit <laughs> it, uh, and it's cool. There's there's a little moisture there. Yeah, I a little thought moisture so. buildup. I mean, it, it helped that someone was cutting onions in my house at the time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know, right, right next to me on the couch. Sure, sure, that actually, makes sense. So. Makes sort all sorts of sense. Yeah. So we see that videos start changing. You know, people people are watching movies or whatever, and, and they start becoming weird <laughs> no, versions right. of. So, like for instance, Afro Man is watching a romantic comedy that ends up being invaded by zombies. Right. Yes. And then there's a another show that someone's watching that's like what The Bachelor or something like that. Oh right. And all of a sudden, a bunch of alligators pop up, <laughs> which would make The Bachelor so much better. Sure. Oh, it would. I'd actually watch that. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't. Well, even with alligators. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So we we find out that um, the video player app Dogamon, Dogamon is behind all this. He's got a giant TV screen for a everything yeah, for a cool. body. I guess it's just for a body, huh? No, it's yeah, like he's his got head. a little body. He's got a little tiny yeah, body. Giant he's got like screen a, head, like a stick figure body. And so, he runs into uh, Ari and Haru, mm-hmm. and they go into the AR field. Yep. And all of a sudden, there's this giant screen. <laughs> Playing uh, the human tarantula. The human tarantula. And Spider-Man, then what? They get webbed right, like, yeah, right off so, the bat. Yeah, Gatchmon and Haru. Well, in Japan, it's Sapaitaman. Oh, yeah? He has a giant robot. Ah, uh, that sounds way cooler than... Yeah, it's it's on one of those uh, websites I gave you. Really? Yep. Okay, I'm going to check that out. You have to check that out. Um, so, yeah, he webs up Haru and Gatchmon. And, um, so they're incapacitated. Again. And then they are Aerie, out of the fight. Yeah. And then Aerie decides to go ahead and just app fuse yeah. um, Dokamon and Perorimon. I, I think it's called Apli Gatai. Apli Gatai. I really need to get used to saying that because yeah. I keep wanting to say fuse. Yeah. But Well, I think the subtitles say fuse. It does. Yeah. Um, so they Apli Gatai, um, Dokamon and Perorimon, but they get Sukasimon, yeah, which is the failure. Um, that Atmon. that we saw in the what third the, episode? Like the third episode, because remember it was Navimon and Gatchmon. They were going were, to fight Roleplaymon. Yeah, and, and they were arguing. Yep. And they so their your, your bonds were down exactly. So uh, anyway, she gets a failure. So it's so she, she didn't roll a high enough number. <laughs> Yeah, we cut to Astra and Musimon, who are straight chill. Like they don't, yeah. they ain't messed up about they, any of they this. They got their bonds hooked mm-hmm. up there. And uh, so Dogamon together. starts trying to like psych them out, mm-hmm. um, but it ain't happening, man. No. They ain't working because they just nope. they just come out of a serious situation with each other, stronger than ever, you uh, know. Yeah. And so he, so uh, he ends up. Getting Rekomon, he's just gonna yeah, app link him. Realizes, you know, arises, Rekomon. Because that's the only, uh, is, I guess, the only, okay. is that the only Apple chip he has? Or did he get the one from the last episode? Mm. What was the one from last episode? <laughs> Gomimon. Go no, but no, there no, wasn't, wasn't Gomimon. There wasn't one. Wow, in the we last just episode, we just uh, we just discussed this, didn't we? Yeah, it was Clock Clockmon or Watchmon. Oh, Watchmon, yeah. Watchmon. So he would have had. So Watchmon. he he's got Watchmon, yeah. but there was no Apple Link there. I guess just because of uh, wow, I can't believe we've the new, about yeah, that. No, that's that's we bad. literally just talked about that like <laughs> ten minutes ago. Um, 
so I guess just having Reckham on it, I don't remember. Maybe Reckham even said something like, I'll help you or something. Yeah. I don't remember. But Well, he aptly realizes or aptly fuses. Right. Aptly they go ahead and aptly. Well, they're going to aptly link. Aptly link. Yes. The two. And it actually it turns out, a, hey, bro, you just got lucky and found mm-hmm. the one in a million aptly mon. It happens. That it happens. You can combine. So with, they become medium on. Medium on. Which I'm not super taken with. Yeah. It, he has four ears, right? If I'm I not think mistaken. he does, yeah. And he's, and got, he's got, like, got the a, weird, like, mullet thing. Yeah. With this trench coat. Yeah. Yellow, and he's yellow. It's, and, it's interesting. I, I dig it. I dig you? it. I see where it's coming from. Um, it's interesting. So, Dokumon starts throwing out a bunch of Tornadoes movies, right? Tornadoes and sharks uh, like and all kinds of stuff. action scenes from movies. So, yeah, it'd be like tornadoes, sharks. Yeah. Uh, and then um, Mediamon's like, oh, you, you want to go, bro? Like, you want to see what kind of special effects I have? Right. So, he... Turns into a Star Wars esque. Mm-hmm. He creates sci-fi. a sh- giant spaceship. Yes, and just does this Demolch. crazy <laughs> giant laser and just oh, wrecks fire. him. I'm and it takes him sick. down, gets rid of the L virus, and they get the chip. Right? Yep. I'm assuming they do. And at that point, it cuts to some mysterious mm-hmm. uh, Super Atmon. We right. know Super Atmon because she's CG. Right. Um, and this is also the same person that took Scopemon's app chip, mm-hmm. right? So uh, yep. she uh, she is basically ticked because Astra, uh, I guess you could say officially became an Apple driver at this point because oh, yeah. he joined in the fight right. and everything. And uh, that's whenever the Seijiro um, person comes in and you find out that she had created him like he was just ai and yeah. just kind of dissipated into mm-hmm. nothing and uh then at the at the end after that scene we go back to haru watching the interview of astra and because Gary. he and is, it goes about as well because he is the most popular app tuber yeah. again he ends up being the most popular app tube and uh yeah so this this was a pretty solid episode yeah uh, we get character development from astra um we get uh Essentially, new. three new Atmon. Um, we don't know her name yet. Oh, the, sure, sure. The sure. Super Atmon. But we also get a Super Atmon. We get Mediamon, which yep. is the form of Rekomon and of uh, Musimon. 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 Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cool. Um, that move was freaking amazing. Awesome. Still don't know what happened uh, with uh, Ares, Dokomon, and. Uh, yeah. I don't know Aurora why they Mon. weren't. That was a little weird. Bonded enough to there. There was something that we probably didn't notice there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was that was all cool. We um. I guess we officially have our team at oh, yeah. this point. We have our three person team. Well, we still don't know who that mysterious other guy is in the theme. You know. Yeah. The He's, intro video. He has an Apple Drive too. He's got a mysterious Atmon that we've only seen occasionally. Mm-hmm. They they took out a um, Mel app Mon. Yep. So that was pretty interesting. So Got yeah, it. that's basically it up till this point. <clears throat> yep. So um, you know, you know, uh, I guess we'll just do the finish it up here. So head over. You know, if depending on where you're listening to this, if you're listening on Podbean, which is where you can, um, where we ho- we're hosted from, uh, subscribe to us there. Let us know what you think. Um, we are on iTunes, so you can uh, subscribe there. Rate us, give us a review if you don't mind. Um, you can check us out on Facebook at Talking Nerdy Eight One Five, YouTube at Talking Nerdy. Do we, do we upload these on YouTube as well? Not yet, not yet. But okay. um, that could be a thing eventually. Yeah. Um, totally. Email us Talking Nerdy Eight One Five at gmail dot com if you've got suggestions for uh, things you, you want us to talk about on the show. Yeah, it's a uh, ever changing, ever evolving oh, yeah. podcast. This is my first podcast ever doing mm-hmm. so uh if you have any advice or sure. anything yeah. that would be cool if there's anything that you want to see us do in the show we're planning on eventually doing game stuff uh for digimon games mm-hmm. digimon toys eventually down the line the manga uh manga we've been uh we've been kind of trying to figure out which manga series we want to get yeah. into to talk about i think we're we've got another show planned for digimon adventure Right, which we'll do every season, Yeah, which we're going to start with adventure. Yeah, and we're essentially just going to go through three episodes at a time. Yeah, Maybe whenever we get caught up in a certain series, we can start uh, breaking each episode 
each segment that we have up into multiple series or mm. multiple little segments right. of you know game toy blah 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 sure. so on and so forth we'll we'll try out some different stuff and we got the movies too yeah the movies so. the movies will be cool <clears throat> which i'm going to try to figure out where they sort of fit in the timeline of yeah. the season so and like just go through them as we're going right through the series. yeah so if we get like if i feel like one fits halfway through a season yeah we'll just we'll take a break from it. that yeah we'll cut it watch and then, the movie and, right and then eventually sense. maybe move on to some other anime too maybe maybe um yeah. we had also talked about maybe doing some uh tokusatsu super mm-hmm. sentai common rider which sapida man oh, <laughs> uh which i'm kind of like I, I would like to keep like the talking already about digimon podcast going oh yeah for as long as we can yeah. and then just having second or third or fourth podcast that we put yes. out as well yeah. um where it's just like we could have one that's just anime or we just do a different anime like every week or something yeah. you know and uh we're we're also we've been talking about bringing in like guests and stuff like right. that um we have multiple friends that are into the same type of stuff so eventually we might have someone new on during one week um, we might go on location sometimes. To location like a con would be fun. Or something. Yeah, a, a con convention mm-hmm. uh, show would be pretty cool. We have one of those that might be coming up yeah. a little later on in the year. Tons of stuff, though. So we, let us know what you all think and uh, stay tuned for episode. Oh, real quick. Uh, real quick. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. Okay. I want to give Brandon, because Tyler's supposed to be here, but he's not. Um, so I'm going to give Brandon the titles of episodes 9, 10, and 11. Okay. I wanted to see if he can just guess what might happen in those uh, episodes, all right? Okay. And then when we actually sit down and record 9, 10, 11, we can kind of compare. Yeah, so yeah, this will be fun. The title for episode 9 is, okay. I Will Strive to Be Number 1, The Cyber Arenas at Mon Championships. So, real quick, what do you think that's going to be about? Some type of competition between mm-hmm. the at Mon. Okay. Um, episode 10 is the uh, aspiration of the Atmon, the legendary meeting of the seven codes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what do you think that one's about? <laughs> There's going to be a meeting about the seven codes uh, Atmon. Okay. Uh, let's dive into the digital sea. <laughs> this, this cuts me up. Let's dive into this digital sea. We must convince Ray the super hacker. Oh, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen there? We're going to get introduced to a character named Ray, who apparently is a hacker. <laughs> uh, it's a safe bet. That's what I like about these titles. That's why I wanted to do this, because most of them are just straight up telling you what's fixing to happen in this right. yeah, episode, you know? Um, but next time, when we haven't ran so long, I would like to get like um, go more into what they think the episode might be. You know, This was just real quick. I just wanted to... Mm-hmm. But anyway, so... And we don't have one of the people here. Yeah. That's it. And we are logging off. See ya.